Welcome to Hot Wheels Tech Mods. This is part of our advanced play segment here at Hot Wheels. This is for the kids eight and up, and I got something really, really cool I wanna show you guys today. Check this out. So this is how your vehicle comes. It comes unassembled. You put it together, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Once you are done putting it together, it should look something like this if you've done things correctly. This is our first color that we're gonna launch this fall. So you can see we got awesome rubber tires. It actually uses tank steering, so you can do lots of cool tricks and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can drive this thing as a radio controlled car. Let's choose free, uh, free drive here for the demonstration. So this is my little avatar that I designed at the beginning of the app process. So let me just show you this here. Check this out. I can do all sorts of tricks, man. I can do spins. This is just the slowest speed. I have three. I have slow, normal, and fast. Goes about eight to nine miles an hour, which is actually fantastic. With the Bluetooth, I don't have to really worry too much about range. It has tremendous range, so that is always a good thing. So we saw how RC drives. Now check this out. I can use the car as a controller. We can play some video games, man. Let's do this. Survival, race, and delivery. We're offering three in our first generation here this fall. So let's just choose survival. I'm gonna use my actual car to steer. Check this out. Oh yeah, we're getting stars. We're getting hearts. We're getting points. I can flip around. I can get whatever I need to get. Check out that heart. Oh yeah. So as the levels get harder, I'm gonna to need to actually upgrade my vehicle. I go to my garage, use the points that I'm earning in the game to make my car faster and also make it withstand hits better. So I protect it with my shield. Oh, here we go. Whoa. So we are launching on Indiegogo, an early uh, availability for consumers. They will receive the vehicle if they purchase it through Indiegogo about two months in advance. And we're also going to be having an open conversation with the consumers. They're very tech savvy. We want to take all that information and for our fall launch and launch the best possible product we can this fall. So that would be probably a 9-1 ship versus our Indiegogo ship, which will probably be 6-1 or 7-1. So we're going to cap it probably about 3,000 units. We don't want to flood the market too early. And then we'll be ready for Christmas, man. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by Tech Mods. Appreciate it.